Um, what we do at the One Stop, whenever I'm asked to talk about the Career Center, I start to go in a hundred different directions because we offer so many different services and I'm trying to capture everything. So I like to refer to the Career Center as One Stop Shopping. So essentially, a customer can walk through our front door and access a variety of services in one spot. Um, so that's why I call it One Stop Shopping. We are a group of agencies that have come together to provide services for employment, training, and education all under one roof. When I talk about our customer, who I refer to as our customer is not just the job seeker, but also the employer. So our customer is both employers and job seekers. The CUNAWORKS Career Center is part of the American Job Center Network and authorized by the Workforce Innovation and Opportunity Act. So we call that WIOA, um, formerly known as WIA. I still have that stuck in my head. Um, but WIOA is pretty much what authorizes the programs that we offer to strengthen our workforce programs and for our work search and job search activities. When I said that we have various agencies under one roof to provide a seamless and integrated service for our customers, those agencies are our partners. So we call them our partner agencies and I have them listed up here. Uh, Cuga County Employment and Training, which is the organization that I work for. New York State Department of Labor is also one of our partner agencies through the One Stop. Cuga Community College, Cuga, actually now it's called CAP, um, Seneca Cuga ARC, Cuga Onondaga BOCES, Access VR, and A4TD. So A4TD is a program that serves the mature worker, uh, mature worker being 55 and older, and I'm going to talk about that in a little bit. Services. So let's talk about some of the services we have through the One Stop. We have job seeker services, we have employer services, and they essentially go hand in hand together. Uh, as far as job seeker services go, job seekers can walk in our door anytime and, and access job referrals, workshops. We have workshops done by one of our uh, Department of Labor employment counselors. They're all free of charge. Reemployment services, education and training opportunities skills assessments, services for folks with disabilities, and services for folks that are ages 55 and up. We also offer youth programming services and services for veterans. So we do have an on-site veteran representative at the One Stop that works for the Department of Labor, and we offer a priority of service for vets walking through our door. On the flip side, on the employer side, the role of the One Stop is to really help employers hire, train, and retain qualified workers. We can do that through offering tax credits, on-site recruitments. On-site recruitments is something that I'm pretty passionate about because when I work with my folks that are looking for jobs, one of the biggest barriers for them is that they just can't get the interview, whether it's their resume or their work history or some kind of red flag. And when we have on-site recruitments, they're guaranteed that face-to-face -face connection with the employer. So I really like to see uh, on-site recruitments in our office because the employer gets candidates, the bodies, you know, right away, and job seekers can get that interview without having to go through the whole process. So employers are encouraged to do on-site recruitments through our office. We can promote it, we can match customers, refer customers to that, and then it also allows us as staff to make a connection with the employer and refer our job seekers to you if we feel there's a good connection. Uh, on-site recruitments, that, that pretty much sums up that. Targeted job fairs, uh, we do those. Rapid response services. So if there's a company that is downsizing or closing, uh, we can offer assistance to come in and talk to those threatened workers through, through the Career Center. Apprenticeship opportunities, on-the-job training, which I'm going to talk about in a minute, and off-site interview space. We have two classrooms and several interview rooms available for employers to come in and interview their candidates or screen their candidates off-site. Sometimes employers don't want to do that right in their location. You can use our office, the Career Center, and again, it's free of charge. We have a job bank service. It's essentially a labor matching system that we can match job requirements to candidate skills and provide a match that way and refer qualified candidates to your job openings. Under the umbrella, I like, I like to consider the, the Career Center an umbrella, and under the umbrella falls all of our partner agencies. Uh, Cuba County Employment and Training is one of those agencies, and we focus on job search assistance. 
for any customer walking through our door. So it could be an adult, a dislocated worker, a youth. We do serve people on temporary assistance, just needing some help getting back on their feet. We serve approximately 800 job seekers per month walking through our door. So we, we serve a lot of folks. And we can make the connection to the business through the job seekers that come through. We have a youth program. Our youth program serves youth ages 14 to 24. Uh, it may be a younger youth who has dropped out of high school and needs to gain some work experience. It could also be the older youth transitioning into permanent employment. Um, I just want to share a quick story as far as the youth program goes. Years ago, we had a, a, an at-risk youth who um, lacked confidence, low self-esteem. She was a pregnant teen. She was placed at a job site in the local community under the program, under the youth program, and they hired her on as a permanent employee because she did such a great job. Just a couple of years ago, I ran into her at a career fair that she was working at, and she came over and she said, I want to thank the, the youth program because if it weren't for that, I would have never made these connections. She'd since received her college degree and became very self-sufficient. And I feel like that's a success story that I want to share because employers that are willing to take on some of our youth, they can really become productive members in the, in the workforce down the road, and that was something I just wanted to share. Uh, training opportunities. So under We All, we have funds that can help pay for folks to go back to school. We can do this either through classroom training, web-based training, and on-the-job training. Uh, classroom training is just as it sounds. Your traditional type of training could earn a degree certificate uh, and lead to suitable employment once completed. But we also have web-based online training that people don't really know about or employers don't know about, and I want to let you know. It's a self-paced training program online free of charge with over 11,000 courses that a person can take. So job seekers can use that to kind of fill in gaps, earn some, um, gain some skills, use it for career development, but also employers can take advantage of that for some in-house training. Oftentimes employers have to fulfill or have their staff fulfill so many hours of continuous education. You can do that through the metrics program. It's free, no cost to the employer. We offer a workshop on Mondays that you can um, get information or send your folks to get information. You can also YouTube video it. Actually, I, I YouTubed a tutorial on the metrics program and you can view it that way. But again, it, it is a free of charge uh, training tool and employers can take advantage in-house. <laughs> the last type of training that I want to talk a little bit about that's allowable under WIOA is on-the-job training. On-the-job training is probably my favorite type of training because I look at it as a win-win for the employer and the job seeker. The job seeker goes right to work. The employer then earns a wage subsidy. They get 50% of the hourly wage while they're training that customer. So essentially, the customer has to have a gap in skills. We have to identify that they're lacking X, Y, and Z. We can write an on-the-job training contract with that employer to reimburse half of the wage while they're learning that those specific skills. Um, so it's a win-win. The employer gets the wage difference and the, and the employee gets the job. Uh, when, I, when I work with businesses, one of the, the biggest complaints that businesses have, it's not about learning and teaching employees how to do the job, it's teaching them how to have a good attitude and a good work ethic and be a good fit. So when an employer finds someone that has that potential and they think they're going to be a good fit, but they're lacking a few other things, that's where on-the-job training can really help supplement because you can use that time to train, offset the cost, and you don't have to teach the things that are very hard to teach, which are the soft skills. It's hard to teach that. So when you find someone that's a good fit, um, that's where on-the-job training can really come into play. <coughs> 